Some players have trouble making that leap from college to pro, but that hasn't been the case for Crandall, who seems to have had little trouble making the transition, now putting himself at the top of the scoring race for not only the team with 15 points throughout 12 games, but for all rookies in the ECHL. In what was only a matter of time, the fight and Phils now have two players with 30 home runs or more for the first time in their 50-year history. That, of course, comes with a huge night from Dylan Cousins, who knocked three out of the park here at First Energy Stadium for his 30th career home run. Now he almost broke another record for most RBIs in a game that records eight. He finished the game with seven. Like you said before the game I spoke to you, they're good at getting on you early. Of course, that's not something you want to see. What do you have to say for their physicality here in this first half? It was operating for 120 years, and it just closed down in 1995, November 18th. So oh, the it city didn't. Down in yeah. Wow. Bethlehem Steel FC went back to school to learn some history about the city they now call home. Is it correct that uh, a lot of these workers were immigrant workers who came? over to work for the steel. Boluwak and Gode, James Chambers, Josh Hurd, and Samir Bader got a taste of downtown Bethlehem's biggest attraction. All of the men in the community pretty much worked, worked at the steel mill or they were overseas at war. Okay. Thank you guys. Yes, the accolades keep coming in for the fight. Phil's this morning, the Phillies announced the Paul Owens Award recipients. That goes to the top minor league position player and pitcher of the year. Dylan Cousins and Reese Hoskins both received that award, making it the first time since 1997 that two players shared that awards. That was Jimmy Rollins and Jeff Key. It was a special night in Reading this weekend as some of the Philadelphia Flyers' greatest players brushed the dust off their skates and hit the ice once again. Well, that was the first time I, I put my gear on since last June, winning the Stanley Cup. Thank you, guys. Yes, as the fight in Phil's kept their playoff hopes alive, the Iron Pigs came to an end last night. Three runs in the first inning really kind of put the nail in the coffin there. They scored eight runs in the fourth inning. The Pigs did get their first run of the entire series, though, in the fourth as well. And since the season is over, as expected, the Phillies made some transactions this morning, including a call-up for Phil Klein, who last night gave up 10 runs, eight earned on seven hits in 3.1 innings pitched. And along with him comes the Cody Ashey. He returns to the Phillies and RHP Luis Garcia, also got a call up. Joely Rodriguez had his contract selected from Lehigh Valley and Taylor Featherston has been designated for assignment. Now yesterday I was talking about rumors of Ben Lively making it up but as we talked about earlier Steve he might have a few too many innings pitched this summer. Riley Armstrong had a little bit of a different upbringing compared to the majority of hockey players taking to the ice in a more elegant fashion. I actually didn't really find hockey that fun. Uh, some some parts of growing up, I my mom was a figure skating coach, so I did figure skating uh, till grade 10. Yeah, she did uh, the Stars on Ice, and she traveled across the states and stuff like that. I think in the 1970s, I believe, late 70s. So she's uh, she she did that. She did like the traveling shows and stuff, and. Um, I think she enjoyed it and she always wants us to figure skates. So now I have a little five-year-old daughter, so she's already sending her dresses. Thank you guys here with Jorge Alfaro. Obviously a little bit of a difference tonight than your past two games. What was different about tonight? I mean, like, everybody was, like, trying to get this win. We don't want to go home. Like. It was a special night in Reading this weekend as some of the Philadelphia Flyers' greatest players brushed the dust off their skates and hit the ice once again. Well, that was the first time I, I put my gear on since last June, winning the Stanley Cup. So it, it was it was awesome, actually. Two months ago when I, I was asked to show up here and play one of these alumni games, I was like, OK, I can, I can probably do it. But now when I played it and seeing these guys in the room and hearing these hockey talk and seeing all the fans out there, it was special. And I, I really, I'm really happy that I, I did it. Well, it's just nice to get out on the ice with, with those guys. I'm just fortunate that they invited me here. Um, you know, it's some, you got wide variety of ages out there and I think everybody's having fun and that's what it's all about. 
From Broad Street Bullies and Stanley Cup champions to the team's most recent alumni, players from every decade of Flyers hockey couldn't help but go down memory lane in front of a sold-out crowd at Santander Arena. You know, I, I've heard about the Reading Royals, but we, I didn't know coming here what the response was going to be from the fans um, towards the Flyers. So uh, to, to jump on the ice for warm-up, um, to see the whole building packed already, that was a, uh, I had chills, you know, it felt like another um, regular NHL games going back on the ice. It was, it was very, uh, very cool and amazing from the fans to show up in such a big number. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I'd never been here, and, and um, um, but once I, well, I get in and I was walking around at the rink, and it's a beautiful rink. I, I, I really liked it. And then taking a warm-up, seeing it's going to be a full house, I was like, wow. Only, only Philly and, and uh, surroundings of Philly can do it because it's, it's special. It, it shows how much Flyers fans and, and um, they appreciate hockey and, and they're diehard fans. So it, it, was, it was great. Split into Team Orange and Team White, Danny Briere took the spotlight, scoring two goals to lift the Orange team to a 9-4 victory. A surreal moment for Briere, sharing the ice with Hall of Famers like Bob Clark and Bernie Perron. It was a lot of fun, um, you know, and and you, you got to remember that you're playing for fun, and we had so many different generations, so um, it was so cool to have those guys from the 70s dress up and, and come out and play. Um, I, I had a big thrill seeing guys like Bobby Clark and Bob Bob Kelly and Joe Watson being on the ice. I mean, is uh, is a special moment. Spending time with them too, uh, off the ice. Um, you know, it, it was really, really special night. Not only was this a chance for Flyers fans to come out and see their favorite players from over five decades of Flyers hockey, it also gave the organization a chance to celebrate their affiliation with not only the Lehigh Valley Phantoms but the Reading Royals as well. You know, hockey in, in, in this area is really good. The, the fans are really into it. Uh, whether it's the Flyers, um, you know, I live in Hershey, so I, I kind of liked it when the Royals were affiliated with the Bears, now with, with, they're with the Phantoms. I think it's good uh, that the Flyers put on events like this in the area to get uh, the, the fans to, to know, you know, the current players, the, the prospects, and also the former players. It's a pleasure coming here. Uh, I think Reading is a special place, and I think their fans are very special. And I think it's important for everyone to know that this area here is really great for the game of hockey and we as an alumni group we're very proud to come in here and play on a sold-out building uh, they're great fans and I think some of the alumni guys didn't quite realize how uh, greater fans that really were than coming here. Well, like you mentioned, especially because there's so many Flyers fans in, in this area, um, to have a team affiliated with, with the same team, I think uh, it, it's important and it's probably going to be even more special for the fans. You might at some point see some players moving up to Allentown and eventually uh, to the Flyers. So you have the chance to see some players that down the road might, might be playing for your, uh, your favorite NHL team. Um, so I, I was uh, really taken aback by uh, how supportive they were and, and, and hopefully we do that again next year. In Reading, Gwen Begley, Two Sports.